My name is Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the positive response from our National Security Service leadership and the Office of the Public Relations responding positively to the call we made for the last few days and one I made this morning urging for the faith of the life of our former Mayor of Juba City, Calisto Lado. As we speak now from reliable sources, we got information that Calisto Lado is released to join his family. This is a positive response to the advocacy that we have done for a few days when we got the information that he has lost his life or he is already dead. And I would like to say those who are fabricating fake news and who are misinforming and providing disinformation would like to say shame on you. We wish to see people's rights who are being respected. As Callisto is released to join his family, we hope that his health will be taken care of and a health will be given consideration to his his family, as we are aware, few days we have been really campaigning seriously to ensure his release, meeting leaders and talking to some leaders and thank for those who have contributed for responding positively to our messages. But I would like to take this opportunity to also call upon the state and the government that those who have contributed for the arbitrary arrest and suffering of Kalisto Ladu should be held accountable by the law because these are people who are enemies of peace and stability in the country. If any person is in conflict with the law, there's a need for us to allow due legal process to take its course. That is the purpose why we have laws in our country. Our laws were meant to ensure that human rights are respected, the rule of law is upheld. Those who are behind this arbitral action also should be held accountable. So these practices will never go unaccounted for. Thank you very much.